High Dr. Fofalia under new guidance announced Friday by the California Department of Public Health, Californians under 65 with severe health conditions will be eligible to get COVID-19 vaccines starting March 15. I need to send a message to my primary care physician to receive the necessary documentation. I could be a bit hurtle because my doctor has a laissez-faire attitude, for example, when I brought up the vaccine a visit a couple weeks ago he acted helpless and also stated I may not have a choice in which vaccine I receive. Please critique the following proposed message. I have no included links in the proposed message to my doctor, but here are principal ones I used in the composition of the letter https colon slash comatters.org slash health slash coronavirus slash 2021 slash 02 slash California shifts priorities vaccine chronic conditions slash https colon slash newsroom.heart.org slash news slash COVID-19 risks irregular heartbeat may increase risk blood pressure medicines do not colon slash www.cdc.gov slash coronavirus slash 2019 cough slash need extra precautions slash people with medical conditions. HTML HTTPS colon slash www.cdc.gov slash coronavirus slash 2019 cov slash need extra precautions slash people with an additions. HTML hash heart conditions link to learn about more about serious heart conditions from them in the above link HTTPS colon slash www.cdc.gov slash heart disease slash other underscore conditions and dot HTMDR. Name I need your assistance in establishing eligibility for receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Under new guidance announced Friday by the state's Department of Public Health, Californians under 65 with severe health conditions will be eligible to get COVID-19 vaccines starting March 15. The new guidance from state officials gives health care providers discretion to allow eligibility for people between the ages of 16 and 65 who are at a high risk from COVID-19 because of a health problem or disability. The severe health conditions on the state's list include heart conditions. In addition, doctors will also have discretion to vaccinate high-risk people who do not fall into the categories set by state officials. The newly eligible groups may be immunized by their medical provider or at mass vaccination sites. As I have a choice of venues for the vaccine, I would prefer to be vaccinated at the mass vaccination site at Cal Expo where I will not have a risk of contracting the virus from contact with others receiving the vaccine. The Center for Disease Control, CDC lists underlying medical conditions for which adults of any age are at increased risk form the virus that causes COVID-19. Severe illness is defined as hospitalization, admission to the ICU, intubation or mechanical ventilation, or death. The list of the conditions includes heart conditions. The CDC's list of serious heart conditions for increased risk of severe illness from COVID-19 includes arrhythmias such as ventricular fibrillation, atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. The stance of the CDC is corroborated by the American Heart Association. Specifically, according to a presentation at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions 2020, Patients with a prior history of atrial fibrillation slash flutter had a significantly higher risk of death or intensive care unit, ICU, mortality, independent of other health issues in the heart, kidneys of lungs. To enable me to receive the vaccine when it becomes available at the March 15th date, please file the paperwork to establish my eligibility and either set me up for an appointment to receive the vaccine or provide me with the documentation necessary for me to make that appointment. I need your assistance on this as soon as your schedule permits so I can prepare to make an appointment with sufficient time given the limited vaccine availability. Further, I desire to get the vaccine while supplies of the mRNA vaccines are available and not face the process of being inoculated with the much less effective Johnson & Johnson or Oxford AstraZeneca vaccines. I will refuse to be inoculated by either of the latter. I can send you supporting information for the above narrative and or we can have a video visit to discuss. Thank you for your care. Welcome to Just Answer. 
Answers here are for education and information. I will respond shortly with an answer, or further information request. I am very sorry. Few concerns here, 1, this is a question and answer website. 2, this is not a telemedicine platform. Thus no doctor-patient relationship is not established here. 3. The website is not authorized to issue any prescriptions or notes or referrals. Okay, could you give me your knowledge of COVID-19 with atrial flutter? I was hospitalized three times for this condition. First, for sustained tachycardia where I went via ambulance. Second, when I had a sustained heartbeat of 140x a minute for 48 hours for which I had a cardioversion, and lastly when I had a cardiac ablation for the atrial flutter. Thank you. Very welcome. You can get the vaccine. There is no contraindication for it. I am referring to atrial flutter as a heart condition that puts me at more risk of contract COVID-19. A heart condition is one of the criteria for those 64 and other to receive the mRNA vaccine steering March 15 in California. Even if not as serious as other heart conditions, I may be able to use as justification for the vaccine. 64 and under https colon slash newsroom.heart.org slash news slash COVID-19 risks irregular heartbeat may increase risk blood pressure medicines do not. 34. Additional analysis on the outcomes of the patients with atrial fibrillation slash flutter show that patients with a prior history of atrial fibrillation slash flutter had a significantly higher risk of death or ICU mortality, independent of other health issues related to the heart kidneys and lungs. Data also indicated in hospital atrial arrhythmias were significantly associated with even higher risk of death and ICU mortality, as well as multi-organ failure, such as respiratory failure and renal failure. I do know and understand that you would receive the vaccine on priority with your past history and medical records. But only your treating GP and cardiologist can certify this. Maybe I am not understanding what exactly you want from my assistance. I will try asking a cardiologist. Thank you. Okay. Very welcome. You are eligible for the vaccine. You are not at increased risk of adverse effects. That is my question. I have a video visit with my PCP Wednesday, and I need to convince him that either because of underlying health conditions or via his discretion, that he will provide justification for me to receive the vaccine as of March 15 under new state guidelines by the state of California. Still not sure how the process works, for example, the format of the justification, where I can receive the shot, preferably in car at mass vaccination site. My guess is that on Wednesday, even if he agrees, that he will not know the process. California's COVID-19 vaccine eligibility will expand in March Redding, California. People aged 16 to 64 with underlying health conditions in California will be eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine next month, according to an announcement from the state on Friday. It gives a chance for people who have cancer, diabetes, other diseases, and immune problems you can think of a chance to survive and not be worried, said Ruth Plato of Reading. People with underlying health conditions include those with cancer, Down syndrome, heart conditions, severe obesity, women who are pregnant, and other underlying health conditions. For more information about underlying health conditions, click here. I think it's a great move because the more people that get it, it's going to help curve the disease more quickly, said Abhishek Chaturvedi of Fremont. Even with the new guidelines, 
The state says health care providers can use their medical judgment when it comes to whether they vaccinate someone. As of right now, Shasta County is still getting people over 65 years old vaccinated. Shasta County is still in charge of its vaccine distribution plan and said supply continues to be an issue. We have to do the 65 plus people first, said Carrie Scoot, the spokesperson for the Shasta Health and Human Services Agency. Then we will get to the people who are 16 to 64 with those chronic health conditions. The state hopes to begin vaccinating this group by March 15, depending on vaccine availability. Our plan is to vaccinate them when we have enough vaccine, but right now we just don't, said Scoot. We are going to have to wait and see what the supply looks like at that time. Public Health said it does not know what its supply will look like by mid-March. Shasta County Public Health said counties request the vaccine from the state but it is up to the state as to how much it delivers to the counties. Https colon slash www.actionnewsno.com slash content slash news slash California expands vaccine eligibility to people with severe health conditions 57380221.html It is good that the eligibility is expanded and you would be covered in it and are on priority population. But that is just it. I do not know if qualified. Lot will be up to judgment of doctor and before the state opened up the eligibility he told me he did not consider atrial flutter a concern with COVID-19. Yet, we have this, the data demonstrated that patients with a prior history of atrial fibrillation slash flutter had a significantly higher risk of death or intensive care unit, ICU, mortality, independent of other health issues in the heart kidneys, and lungs. https colon slash www.pharmacytimes.com slash conferences slash aha 2020 slash COVID-19 and atrial arrhythmias may increase risk of major adverse cardiac events death state does list heart conditions as an eligibility criteria. However, the examples at sites are heart conditions, such as heart failure, coronary artery disease, or cardiomyopathies excludes hypertension https colon slash www.xp.com slash news slash coronavirus slash california to open up covid19 vaccine eligibility to people with underlying conditions disability s and then we have this not all heart disease is equal for covid vaccine prioritization cardiology group offers a schema for ordering the list colon slash www.medpagetoday.com slash infectious disease slash COVID-19 slash 91188 so could be gray area and do not know how I do agree, there are some gray areas and discretion in the hands of doctors for vaccination. That is why looking for medical support slash view slash citations here probably need to ask cardiologists. Also, part is the art of persuasion. If PCP does not agree, perhaps can ask of medical groups cardiology unit, but they may be unwilling to reply and or not have to or want to spend the time to go through a process. This would go by a local guideline of cardiologists and no persuasion may work. Definite possibility but appears my primary care doctor has discretion. Yes, collectively doctors, GPs and specialists can have their own discretion on an individual case basis. If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now visit justanswer.com slash yt health.